basil pesto was made in Italy for centuries as a way to preserve the fresh basil harvested from the garden. Originally made in a mortar and pestle, the slow grinding process of grinding the leaves with the olive oil and then adding pine nuts and garlic and Parmesan cheese was a way of forming a paste that could be preserved for a long period of time. Today, with our food processors, we can make this a lot quicker and with a lot less effort. Um, we're actually going to make a nice pesto today. We have some beautiful basil that is clean and dry. It's very important that these leaves be completely dry so that the little bit of moisture won't spoil your pesto. We have removed all of the stems off the basil. And we're going to add it to our food processor, adding about a third of the leaves at once. And then we want to coat them with extra virgin olive oil before we even start doing the chopping because we want to make sure that these leaves don't get exposed to oxygen as they're being chopped or they will turn brown. Okay. Then I'm going to run the food processor. And this really, having them coated with oil, really makes the leaves stay nice and bright green, which is what you want in your pesto. Okay, I'm going to add about another third into the bowl. And this time, while I'm running the food processor, I'm actually going to drizzle olive oil in over the top while it's running. Okay, let's add one more batch of basil leaves in. This process is actually, again, creating a paste. We're going to make it be a very smooth, consistent paste. We don't want big chunks of basil leaves. I'm also going to scrape the sides down just to make sure I don't have any big chunks along the edge. And again, we're going to drizzle the olive oil as we process. Okay, at this stage, we actually have something that's close to pesto that could easily be preserved in the freezer. You can put it into a Ziploc bag and just put the Ziploc bag in your freezer. Then whenever you're ready to use it, just take a small amount out, put it in your recipe, such as a marinara sauce or a soup, and it will easily melt and be giving you the very fresh flavor of basil in the middle of winter. And we're going to elaborate on this recipe because we want to make it for a pasta sauce. So we're going to now add our fresh Parmesan cheese. This is Parmigiano Reggiano from Italy. This is a nice imported cheese. It's pretty readily available. Now, the next step, we're going to add some fresh garlic. You can add as much as four or five cloves if you really like the garlic to be strong. I'm adding about two cloves today. Ooh, that smells so good. And the last ingredient are fresh pine nuts. And these are actually grown on pine trees. And, and these are from the actual pine cones. Okay, and then here we go blending again. Now this actually has a very thick consistency. I think I want to add just a little bit more oil just to give it a little bit more looseness and scrape down the sides again. Again, we're going to drizzle it from the top while we're blending. Okay. 
and we have a beautiful bright green pesto sauce. And this can be used directly on fresh pasta, either spaghetti or a, a pasta noodle, if you like. We're actually going to add it to a little bit of cream because I really like my pasta sauce, my pesto sauce with cream. So I've got some that I've warmed here on the stove and this is just nice and warm. And then we're going to add just a little bit of pesto to it. This stuff is very potent and so you really don't need very much. So I'm just going to add probably about three tablespoons full. And then it's blended into the cream and it's so colorful and beautiful really shows off the basil. And I'm just combining the cream with the pesto. And then we just take some cooked pasta noodles. Again, these should be warm as well. And we're adding our pasta. And just a quick toss. just to coat all the pasta. And then we're going to serve it. And it's colorful and it's beautiful and it really smells great. Okay. Then we're going to just add a little bit of fresh ground pepper because cream always likes having a little pepper with it. And just a touch of salt, although it doesn't need very much. A quick garnish of a basil leaf. And there we are, beautiful basil pesto cream sauce on penne noodles. Simple, colorful, and fragrant. This is one of the best ways to use fresh basil from your garden. After all, it's all about the flavor. Please visit our website at tastefulgarden.com.